kind of your, your Cliff Notes version of what you liked? What they had in like it. Well, I think a couple times, you know, we had a good flow, we had a good group in there, and then I subbed, which uh, obviously wouldn't happen, um, you know, in, in a real game, but I thought it was more important to get guys minutes tonight to get the experience, especially for our young guys. That, you know, I, you kind of forget sometimes as a coach as you go on, there's still a little bit of nervousness and jitters, even for guys that have been on a big stage in high school. And, you know, I've watched some of our freshmen play against, you know, great players and great teams in high school and AAU, and you still, when you start, there's going to be a little bit of that nervousness. And I, I think uh, what happens a lot is they're not used to being subbed out. They're used to staying in and playing through some of that and then making improvements and adjustments right there. But when you're going in and out constantly and you're asked to play on both ends, you know, it, it's a little bit tougher. But I, I thought it was a good, you know, first game for those guys just to get some experience and, and, and play. Um, I don't know if I had the best mix of guys out there all the time. But, you know, that's what you do. You experiment in games like this and uh, try to see what works and what doesn't work. Specifically the freshmen, could you give us just a first on your staff? Well, I, I thought, you know, Travis Carroll, you know, he's got to learn to use his body more. He, he's a physical guy. Um, you know, he made a nice shot there in the first half. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a jump shooter at this, at this point of his career. Um, he's got to keep angles in the post. But for him, we need him just to be as physical as possible and be a rebounder and, and make smart plays on the offensive end and kind of facilitate a little bit um, with his ability to pass. Um, be a good communicator defensively. Uh, Anthony Johnson um, is, a, is a talented kid. He can score the basketball. He took a lot of contested shots, and that's what he'll have to, you know, really work on in terms of shot clock. Is it going down? Is it not going down? What's a good shot? And who he's with out on the court. Um, sometimes at the end of games, you know, you, you get a little bit more freedom um, to play out there. But, you know, he's a guy that can score um, for us. And then the thing I liked about it is um, his ability to rebound. You know, he didn't rebound a lot. Tonight, you know, I think down the road he can be a very good rebounder for us. Um, Tyrone is, uh, is a talented guard, a good guard, a guy that can score in a lot of different ways has got to understand when he has angles and numbers and when he doesn't. Um, just jump to just jump to pass and jump to shoot tonight entirely too much against a set defense. We talked about him with it in practice. We've talked about him tonight, and it still happens. Um, it's just something he's got to work through, and he's got to understand and realize. He has that kind of that crow hop into that shovel runner that Etwan has. He has kind of that same shot. That's what he has to use when a defense is set. But. Um, no, I, I thought it was uh, it was great for those guys, and uh, sometimes the best thing for them um, to do is to struggle a little bit. Um, coming out sometime for a young guy and just having a great first game could be you know can can, can be a disappointment here in a week or two because they think that's the way it's going to always be. When you go into a game and you struggle a little bit, now you look at it, you improve, you get better, you're humbled, and uh, it really helps them. Any first on you? Oh, I'm sorry, I always. Focus on him in the next class, even though he was a freshman. You know, I thought he did a good, you know, a good job. He took up space. Um, he was probably the guy that was probably the most nervous. Um, he has the least amount of experience of any of our guys. And um, you know, getting five rebounds in 11 minutes, you can see his ability to rebound above the rim and, uh, and take up space. You know, he, he just needs to go out there and continue to plug and get better and, and make improvements. But I thought he did a good job. You know, he's, he's got to catch the, do a better job of catching the basketball. He had a couple opportunities. He fumbled. Um, he, he's got to score those balls when he gets it in the bank. What about Patrick? You started him tonight. What were your thoughts? Well, you know, Pat's missed the last two practices um, because he had a sprained ankle. And, uh, you know, he really wanted to play tonight. And, you know, I didn't know if it was the best thing for him. But he's, you know, he's worked hard, um, you know, to be a, an earn the, the right to start. And uh, I thought he gave a good effort. Um, it doesn't come up here from a rebounding standpoint, but I thought tonight you saw a couple hustle plays I don't think he would have made it, you know, a year ago. Um, you know, he's either been the top or second or third rebounder in almost every single This has got to be a replacement by committee, uh, so to speak, because you don't just replace Bobby Hummel, Chris Kramer, and uh, Keaton Grant easily. But uh, the three of you sitting here are going to be guys that are going to have to contribute. Just talk about how to you uh, before about this. Um, you know, I, it, the biggest thing is rebounding. Um, when you lose a 6 eight guy, he was a good rebounder um, in the middle there that, uh, you know, 
there's a, like you said, a committee we got to take over and a, you know, a crash the glass on the defensive end. Uh, and actually, not only defensive end, but offensive end, too. And, you know, that's the main thing here. And uh, just uh, be solid on defense and, and, you know, just just play your butts off and all that. And I think it'll, it'll make up for, uh, for what we lost. Pat, has, has Rob taken you aside and said, hey, look, just be Pat Baby. Don't try to be Rob. You know, you guys actually had that discussion. Um, yes, I think he has. I think he's just kind of done that to all of us. You know, he's even done that to even Juwan. You know, I think it's kind of odd, but he, he does it to Juwan. He does it to Sami. He does it to Travis. He does it to all of us. He's just kind of a mentor to all of us. He's just always talking and making sure we know what we're doing. Did you feel, I mean, does that make you feel more confident, more poised, more at ease? Um, yes, it does because we're each a different player, and we all have our individual strengths and individual weaknesses. So I think he kind of helps us figure out what our strengths are so we're able to play better. Tyrone, uh, you saw, you know, the first half it seemed like you were kind of feeling it out a little bit, and in the second half you got some opportunities and showed bursts of the offense that I think they hope you provide. Can you just talk about that role? Uh, yeah, <coughs> um, just in the first half, uh, I basically just had to get into the flow of the game. We do a lot of stuff in practice, but we're just playing each other. So getting to play some other guys and, and, and getting different feels for the offensive game was, was definitely helpful. How did you feel like the second half especially? Uh, how did you feel like you played? Uh, I just felt like I loosened up a little bit more. But uh, there's, there's definitely some stuff I got to fix. For any of you guys, uh, you guys turned the ball over considerably in the first <coughs> half. Hardly turned it over in the second half. Really, what was the difference just getting adjusted to the first game? What, what was the deal? Uh, Debbie Davy coach Panner at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what words of encouragement and wisdom did he give you uh, at halftime? He just said, I mean, any, that is any coach would say, just go, we got to take care of it. You know, uh, I don't know how many, but we have 13 in the first half or something like that. I mean, that's unacceptable for any team. And, uh, you know, to win games, um, you know, in the preseason and in the, the Big Ten season and down the road here, that's something we have to do is take care of the ball. Um, definitely defense and rebounding. I mean, that's two of the things I know. Um, third thing is just kind of get the ball to JJ and um, each one and just play off of them. And just always be active. Never be standing still. Always know where my man is. And just uh, be patient. Pat, we talked a lot in the offseason about how, how you kind of changed your body, how you got the experience last year and that healthy. How did you feel different uh, tonight? Um, I felt a lot more athletic. I definitely was not tired. Um, I just had a lot more stamina. It just, it, it just is amazing how, how fast it kind of turned around for me there. Brian, are these games um, good tests? Because, you know, you could bring in, like, the Joe Smith All-Stars, a bunch of old, retired, you know, basketball players. That used to be what these games were about. Now they bring <coughs> college teams in. Do you think that's a, you know, a better gauge and, and helps you and them? Uh, absolutely. I, uh... We were talking before the game started. It was, it was good to get out there and you know beat up on somebody else and, and have somebody else beat up on us and not just each other. You know, um, it does get a little monotonous in practice. Um, you know, the three weeks there, or however long we, we started practicing the preseason, but uh, um, it is great to have the uh, exhibition games. I think it's a good test for us and just to see where we're at. You know, and all that. Um, uh, it'd be tough to you know go out and just have a, have the first game that first game count for us. Um, that, that'd be tough, but. Uh, yeah, I, I do like uh, the exhibition games for us.